Welcome to the New Vision Series, Volume 2, Chapter 11 of the Power Narrative Podcast. I am your host, B. Green, a.k.a. Belief Narrative, empowering you through awareness, inspiration, and motivation through the power of story. I would like to thank the power plugs around the world for continuing to consistently plug into the power week after week doing the right things, downloading, liking, commenting, sharing, and hitting that notification bell so that the podcast, the sound can resound through the internet. And I'm moving on. This month, prepare for the journey inward because the new vision is in vision. This is where we start to learn the process of re-educating ourselves, to start to learn to use and trust our insight and start to listen to our inner voice versus what we see in front of us and all the noise that we hear, knowing that the image that we've been presented, the surface image right in front of us can and has been manipulated. Let's plug in. We're going to start the story already in progress from an excerpt from the last chapter and the last series. So if you haven't seen Attack of the Clones, go check it out. So there I was. Left to sit with the truth. And the truth was, as my dad would say, nothing that I could do a blooming thing about regarding my outward situation. But the thing that I could control, the only thing that I had power over was what was going on on the inside of me. And although it was an uncomfortable truth, it was the catalyst that caused me to go on the journey inward. And in that inward journey, it caused me to ask myself the hard question. Bookmark that one. You're going to see it soon in an upcoming chapter. It also caused me to remove the blame, which opened the door for me to hold myself accountable, not for other people's actions, but for my own. And this caused me to start the great healing work where I began the process of rebuilding a life that I enjoyed waking up to every day, a life of long-term wellness. Going through this journey myself, I can give you advice on what it is that you need to take with you on yours. I need you, wherever you are, to hear me clearly. Take aim. I need you to take awareness, inspiration, and motivation through the power of your own story. This is how you stay connected to the source of your strength. I need you to take awareness so that in a sea of lies that tell you that you're minor, you know that you're major. I need you to take inspiration with you. So that when the darkness of discouragement comes in like a thick fog, you are able to know that there's somebody out there who has been in your situation that has filtered out the negativity and accomplished what you are destined to. I need you to take motivation with you and breathe in that example and exhale all the fear and doubt and allow the light of their example to shine on your path so that you're able to move where discouragement tries to paralyze you so that you can make it to where it is that you're headed. Being conditioned by societal standards, I had to learn the vast difference between eyesight and vision. And I found that I had a depth perception issue. You know, like the videos where you see people who are attempting to walk over what 
seems like a puddle and they fall into a hole that is deeper than they are tall. This is because they couldn't judge the depth based off what they were seeing on the surface. There's another chapter from volume one called Stuck with the Stigma. If you haven't seen that, check that out. But I knew that in order to correct this issue, this depth perception issue, it was going to take the corrective lens of faith, self-love, self-worth, and also self-forgiveness to fix it. I found that I was plagued by appearances. We live in a society where the greatest importance or the emphasis is placed on looking together rather than being together. The whole, it is better to look good than to feel good mentality. When the truth is, if you took the time to do the work to fix the inner issues, the outer issues would take care of themselves. For example, do you look into the mirror to reflect on who you are or just to see how you appear to be? Because when you constantly deflect reflection of self and you look for answers outside of yourself to have these relationships outside of you, you lack to have a relationship with the person you're staring at in the mirror. The real question is, what is that relationship like? If you have this constant inner conflict that is undealt with, you're going to always find outer conflict to match what you feel like on the inside. I was so willing to see the good in people that I ignored the truth. And the truth is that I had no idea what a healthy boundary was. The truth is not in vilifying people. The truth is what I'm about to get into, this choice I'm about to make, is it the healthiest choice for me? Let's look at it like this. If you need lots of sunshine to thrive, then maybe Seattle is not the best place for you to live. Now, does that make Seattle an evil place? <laughs> Absolutely not but it just might not be the healthiest place for you. There's a quote from a Zambian musical artist, and it goes something like this. I no longer look for the good in people. I search for the real because the good is often clothed in fakeness, whereas the real is naked and bold despite the scars. And a lot of times we don't look to see the truth. We look to see the want. And the scripture is spot on. Seek and you shall find. But the question is, what are you looking for? The scripture literally tells us that we perish or we are literally dying because of lack of vision. And according to the story, the original people did not use their physical eyes until after they made a deal with the enemy. They used their spiritual vision. And I submit to you that they probably saw energy because it reads, and then their eyes were open and they saw that they were naked. They could no longer see past the physical. And that's why when you hear about limitations placed on eyesight, the reference is what can only be seen with the naked eye. So the challenge question is this. Will you take the time to stop deflecting and looking outside yourself for the answers why? Will you be brave enough to go on the journey that creates overall health? even if at the start of your journey, you're left to sit with the uncomfortable truth. To change the narrative in your life, take the next step. Invest in yourself and book a life strategy coaching session with me at www.
www.beliefinteriordesign.com. Let's start the journey of making belief reality.